Adicto a tu piel. Adicto a tu cuerpo. Adicto a tu That Colombian trap music. Freestyle of this shit, you understand me? It cost 2500 What's going on, everybody? It's me, Drees. And this is Drees Speaks number 30. Traveling newbies. Shout out to Trap and B. That was their promo at the beginning of the video. Their album due out next month. First things first. Gotta give a shout out to the latest viewers and subscribers. Before we get started, I'd like to send my condolences to the Robinson family as they grieve for Brother Frank Robinson. Brother Frank Robinson was the first black MVP of both national and American leagues. For the Reds in 1961 and for the Orioles, respectively, in 1966. He was also the first black manager. He led the way for other black managers such as Dusty Baker, Don Beller, Hell McCray, and New Orleans' own Ron Washington. Rest in peace, Mr. Robinson. There will be no Dreeses Caribbean Triangle this week. There are other reasons why there won't be one. I'll be sure to talk about that on a later post. As far as traveling is concerned, one thing you want to do is start working out. I've only a few months before my supposed trip to Rio. Of all these days remaining, I look forward to work out. My main thing is to get my chest and most of all my abs together. If I can't get my six pack, then I'll at least roll to Rio with my full cylinder, as long as we looking good. This is footage from my first day. Maybe to motivate you to get in the gym. What's going on, baby? To you, we breathe. Never been to fitness. This is a side chair, you might have relaxed. Stop here first before I get it popping over. Guys, still getting warmed up. But as far as working out, I like going either late night or early morning. I can move around freely, exercise where I want and when I want. So I'd rather just do it late night, so I don't have to bother anybody, nobody has to bother me, and I don't have to rush. from Okopo Jidris, or Body of Dries, day one. Now for the day's main subject, traveling newbies. <laughs> traveling newbies, there's two ways you can roll. You can roll solo, or you can roll with a group. I don't care where you go. If you're going there for your first time, Rolling solo is not recommended, especially not on your first trip. 
You know, your first trip, if you do roll solo, you definitely want to stay in the tourist areas. For myself, on my second trip back to Medellin, Colombia, I didn't want to stay in the tourist area. For I had did so much traversing on my first trip that I kind of knew other places to be. So on my second trip to Medellin, I stayed in Las Palmas, the hood. But that's my building right there. Because I knew where I was, I knew where I was going, I knew when to go, I knew how to get there. But as far as tips are concerned, for you as a traveling newbie rolling solo, one thing you want to do is follow your research. Start your research at the house. Don't wait till you get to the airport and start looking and checking at this and checking for that. Once you touch down in that city, you need a cab. In Colombia, for instance, Uber is illegal, yet the app still runs there. So if you do roll Uber, you just have to sit in the front seat to play it off. If you just take the regular taxi, don't get caught up looking out the window at the sights, at the mountains and shit. Because you can get caught up by a cash that'll stick you up right through the window. So when you get in the cab, make sure you do two things. Roll those windows up and sit the smack dab in the middle of the seat and lean over the front seat so you can see what the cab driver is doing. Because you could get robbed by a solo cab driver. And last but not least, do not, and I repeat, do not get into a taxi with two drivers. That's a jack move waiting to happen. X bam. Here tell you. So now you done got to your crib. First thing you want to do is make sure that all your amenities that you had in the uh, amenity listing on Airbnb are functional and working. You know, take a walk around your area right quick. See where you could go and can't go. And unless you have to, do not exchange money at the airport or mall. That is another jack move waiting to happen. And if you're rolling by yourself, one thing you might have to do is set a curfew for yourself. For people that's going to be in Barranquilla, for people that's going to be in Rio, Carnival is on the way. You don't want to get caught up with those police late night. They working for 200 to $300 a month. You got their whole monthly income in your pocket. You get caught up, that's a jack move waiting to happen. For those who are going out their first time and they don't want to, uh, Roll solo, join a travel site, join a travel group. In these groups, they have plenty of folks that have the same mindset as you, that think the same way. And trust me, someone in the group has been to where you're going, and someone in that group may be going where you're going around the same time frame in which you'll be there. This is what is going to make your trip an exciting, and safe expedition excursion experience and for those motherfuckers sitting on the couch watching netflix don't even waste your breath trying to explain this is drees and this is drees speaks number 30 traveling newbie jedi Yo, this is me, Drees, and I know I look like a thumbprint in the screen, but I don't want you to pay attention to me. I want everybody to answer themselves the question. The name of this pizza parlor behind me is called Reginelli's, but if you really look at it, what does it really spell backwards? <laughs>